Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. Now if the heater element has blown on your washing machine, you're going to need to replace it. You'll know the heater element's blown if it's tripping out the fuse or the mains electricity supply, or if the machine is working, the water's not getting hot, and that's obviously going to mean that your clothes are not washing effectively. So I'm going to show you how to fit the new element to this Bosch WFL2260 model, but the process should be pretty similar for your make and model of front-loading machine. Now safety first, do make sure you're unplugged from the mains before you do any work on any electrical appliances. I'm going to need to remove the whole of the front panel on this machine to, to fit the new element, and to do that I'm going to start by taking off the top panel. So we've just got a couple of screws here holding the top panel on. They're Torx head screws, and you can get a, a full set of Torx bits on the eSpares website. I'm actually going to use a Torx bit on a, an electric drive to speed things up. OK, so that's the top panel off. Just need to take out the soap dispenser. That just clicks open like that. And now I'm going to take off this fascia. Now I've got one screw on this side to undo and three screws over here. Do keep these screws separate because they're stainless steel so they don't rust. So the fascia and the control panel there, I can just pop that on the top. And this kick strip or kick plate just clips away the drain hose there. Just pop that to one side. Now I just need to remove this retaining clip which is holding the door seal against the front of the machine. Lots of different ways that these retaining clips work. This one just pops off like so. Just get the door seal and push it inside like that. Now I've just got four screws that are now holding the front of the machine on. They're there and these two on the door interlock. So now I can pull the front of the machine and the door completely away from the machine. So the element is situated here at the bottom of the drum. Now I've taken the back panel of this washing machine off just to give us a little bit more light for the video. You won't need to do that. Before I start uncoupling these wires, I'm just going to take a quick snap with my camera phone so I've got a record there of which wires go where. Just uncouple those wires. This brown one here is for attached to the thermostat. And now I just need to undo this nut, which is attached to the retaining clip, just with a spanner or a, a socket. Don't undo it all the way, because what I'm going to need to do is just give that a little tap and that pushes through the retaining clip and releases the seal so that I should be able to now slide the old element out. You can see there the retaining clip and how when the nut is done up that pushes the seal out against the against the side of the machine. Okay now one thing I do need to just take off is the thermostat. Should just slide out fairly easily. There we go, and I can pop that straight into the brand new element, like so. Now we're almost ready to put that back into the machine. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of fairy liquid around the seal, because with it being a new element and a new seal, they can be a little bit tricky to get in. Okay, let's give it a go at that. There we go, now give it a, a good push. And there we go. That's nicely in place. I just need to tighten up that nut. And 
that will have pushed the seal against the casing there and I can just start coupling the wires back on again. Now all I need to do is to put the whole thing back together again. So there we go, it's a new element fitted to this Bosch washing machine. Elements for all makes and models of washing machine are available on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.